Hello, my name is Samuel Olutu. I'm a lecturer with the Federal University of Technology, Akure, in Nigeria. The paper I'm presenting today is titled Hybrid Spam Message Detection Using Convolutional Neural Network and Long Short Term Memory Techniques. I'll go ahead to share my slide. I worked on this paper alongside Dr. Mrs. Oladuni Daramola. So we make use of phones to communicate. It could be via calls and also through text messaging. Text messaging has um, an advantage of delivering the messages instantly and it's affordable. According to reports, it is estimated that about 65% of the world population um, carry out text messaging using one mobile um, text messaging app or the other. Nowadays, there is an increase in the um, spam messages that are received on uh, phones of people. These are messages that are meant to lure unsuspecting users into uh, becoming victims of fraudulent activities. Here are some examples of uh, messages that have been received in the past. Your account has been deactivated for your protection. You need to take steps to deactivate it. You have won a prize gift card coupon that you need to redeem. And we have some other ones as shown in figure three. These messages are meant to lure uh, recipients and to make them fall victim of uh, the fraudulent uh, activities. The spam messages come with some dangers if not um, taken care of uh, properly. That's the, the first one is personal information leak. So information that are meant uh, for confidential reasons could be leaked out and used against uh, the wish of the owners. Access to unauthorized data could happen. Invasion to privacy could also occur. The convolutional neural network has a number of layers. We have the input layer, we have the layer that carries out the mapping of the features. The fully connected layer is used to produce the output. In the long short term memory model, the first layer is the input layer, the bigger pattern. The first layer is the forget layer, the second is the inputs, the third is the output. So the LSTM model uses, uh, keeps the memory of previous timestamps and uses it to update the current timestamp. The name of this study is to design a hybrid uh, model of the convolutional neural network and the long short term memory model. This is implemented using um, SMS spam datasets that is fetched from a uh, repository. And the evaluation is carried out uh, to verify the performance of the model. Proposed model contains uh, the different modules. We have the input, which is supplied to the word embedded that converts the text data into numeric uh, vectors. So this is supplied into the CNN model and the output of that, uh, which is the extracted uh, feature, is supplied to the LSTM that carries out the uh, classification into spam or harm. The harm stands for the legitimate message. The implement implementation of uh, this 
work is carried out in a number of stages. We have the data collection, we have the pre-processing, the data split, the text vectorization, and the training and validation. The text is collected from the UCI machine learning repository online, contains about 5,574 messages in English language. And these messages are labeled harm, either label arm or spam. We have 4,827 as arm, while the remaining 747 is labeled as spam, and they are uh, mixed um, in the data set. The processing is carried out by cleaning, stemming, and lemmatization. In the cleaning, the punctuation marks are removed. The stop words also are removed because these two categories of words or symbols have no relevance to the prediction uh, process that we're about to carry out. The stemming ensures that the root word, the, the, the root word of every of the words is used to maintain um, a uniform um, representation of the words inside the data set. As we can see here, the four words are from the root word develop. The lemmatization ensures that the stem words do not lose their meaning. So the word that carries the meaning of the stem words are used to represent those words. Data is split into the training, the validation, and the testing. And it uses the ratio 60% to 20% and 20% respectively. The text vectorization is carried out using the word to vec method. The messages in the uh, data set is broken down into tokens, that is the individual words. And each of those words are converted to vectors using this model, as we can see in figure 12. The training and the validation is carried out using a number of um, parameters. And the optimal values of these parameters are shown in table one, is obtained over several experiments to determine the optimal values of each of these parameters. Performance evaluation is carried out uh, after the training and the testing of the model by comparing it with um, existing models, such as the KNRS model, the Ada Boost, the Decision Tree, the Random Forest, the LSTM, the CNN. And from the table as shown, it's saying that the accuracy, precision, and the recall and the F score. Uh, is highest for the proposed model. Also compared with existing related works, we see that the proposed model uh, performs better than the others in accuracy as shown. In conclusion, we have been able to dis, uh, design a CNN and LSM uh, combined model. We use the SMS spam collection from UCI to implement the model. The model is evaluated with existing models, and the uh, result shows that the proposed model performs the existing models. Thank you for listening.